My name is Tatiana and this is my story. We don't really talk about this. We all think that we live in this like wonderful feminist world um, and that our, our partners are so supportive of us. Um, but actually, I think my story is not that unique. I actually sort of felt like I was two different people. I was the, the woman I was with my girlfriends who's like real and raw and fun. And, and then I was this other woman at home um, in the marriage that I was in and with my children. And I was just so deeply unhappy. But I think that we tell each other so many lies because we're trying to do the right thing. You're trying to stay in the marriage for the sake of the children or this is what you're supposed to do and you don't want to admit that you've made a mistake or you've outgrown a relationship. And so you just continue until I think it's like your soul kind of screams at you. And you know it's the moment. You have to start making some changes. Nothing else was scarier than me sort of saying, okay, this relationship isn't working and I need to make a change. And so finally I got to that point, um, actually pretty recently, and I am so happy. <laughs> it's maybe not the right thing to say. And sometimes I do feel guilty for being so happy. I think a lot of us, do, I mean, a lot of us do because it feels like a selfish decision, divorce. I think there are a lot of women stuck in relationships that make them very unhappy, in jobs that make them very unhappy, and I want to tell them that they can actually make those changes in their life. We can't do this alone. We need other people to help us through these decisions. And so at some point my therapist said to me, Tatiana, if you're okay, your kids will be okay. And so whenever I start feeling a little bit guilty about not being more broken up about the fact that my marriage is over, I remind myself that my strength and happiness will show them that it's okay for them to be happy and okay with the way our, our lives are going to change.